Yo, yo. JD Money. Yeah. JD Money. Ay, 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 nigga. About JT Money, what makes JT Money, JT Money, besides Jeffrey Tonka, besides Jack and Tourist for all their money, I'm going to definitely give it to the Miami streets, the old Miami, you know, um, throw the D-Boys, Battling Amazing Wizards, Battling Night Force Jammers, the Bay Station, the Pack Jam. Triple M DJs, ghetto style DJs, all that right there is into JT Money. When I first got in this rap thing, you know, I, I was a fan of the music, you know. Um, I came in through the Northern area. If you know about Miami, which they call Miami Gods now, over at Northern, um, there's a lot of New York niggas and there's a lot of dreads. You know what I'm saying? Um, blue collar families, you know. Mom and daddy, working families, you know. Shit like that. So the niggas in the city, they ain't, you know. They say them niggas green out there. Them niggas ain't got nothing but hoes. You know, our school was known to have the baddest bitches at the time. But kind of find out every school had their own bad bitches. Anyway, I ain't never came in the game wanting to be no nigga. I ain't, I ain't coming in the game acting like I was on this or that, you know, uh, character names, no fictional name, but the influence. I was Cool J, I was Rakim, you know, Cool G Rap. You know, I, I, these are the guys I liked and I wanted to mimic or emulate, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I dug that shit. Now, this from a nigga who didn't rap at all, but when I'm hearing these dudes, whatever they were saying, spoke to me or stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? But... Again, it wasn't Miami niggas. You know, I could hear that, but then, and I could see that, but then when I go outside my house, what I'm looking at, it was totally different. You know what I'm saying? And that's just a, a, a generalization, you know? That's, that's precursor anything. But then, you know, as I'm still in school, you know, I get this ice cube and this scar face. Uh, them niggas was me, but they still wasn't Miami niggas. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the only reason I started rapping because there wasn't no niggas like me rapping. I mean, period. Nowhere in the South, well, Scarface, you know, I figured Texas, well, back then that wasn't South where I was from. That wasn't my South. You know what I'm saying? Face one of my favorite niggas in the world today, anyway. But, uh, all these dudes is in that gumbo that's JT money. All these dudes got something in this DNA right here that pumped through this shit. But now if you want to talk about my two extremes, like on this end of the spectrum and this end of the spectrum, it'll be Luther Campbell and it'll be Chuck D and all that other shit in between. I know that don't make sense to a lot of y'all. But uh, Luther Campbell, you know, as far as the game, the fight, the hoes, the whoop de whoop de whoop, boom. Chuck D, our people, the game, the struggle, you know what I'm saying, what's real, you know, not pop culture. And all those dudes, if you notice all those dudes I mentioned, none of them was that shit. None of them, all of them was totally different dudes, but on a level. It's a level. It, it ain't pop culture. It ain't that good look, it ain't that, you know, what's hot now, what's trending now, these niggas set the trends, you know what I'm saying, there was some of the extremes of JT money, and then I start, oh, can't forget my partner, Devin M, Devin M, Mr. Man, see, Dev the one made me take it serious, that was my partner, you know what I'm saying, I still think he wanted the best to ever do it, Devin M, Devin M, the home team, Devin M, yeah, my brother, shit, that's that. Figure out we're gonna talk about some more shit. Alright? We'll get into some more shit in a minute. Check. Let's take it back to the beginning where it all started. 
Augustine High School. JT Money. You know, I was, uh, you know, it was me. You know, nothing to play with, no, nothing. You know, I was always that guy. So, the rap game didn't make me who I was. But the rap game showed y'all who I was. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't no bitch out there before today. I was about that shit out of my head. Every day out on the that's why as soon as I came in the game, I was just with my rap. I think about it. Nobody was saying this shit before me. Anyway, when I started, you know, my two homeboys from New York, Dev and Drugs, they came to our school. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody knew who they were because they was different. You know, New York niggas. High top fade. High, high right, low left, whatever that shit, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, and Trigger. And, like, them, two, them three niggas hooked right up. But, um, one day they saw me. I don't know, I guess they first, second, third day at the school. And they finally saw me. And it was like, yo, you from New York? You like, you like you from Tilden. <laughs> That's where they went, East New York. I'm like, nah, I'm player. From right here. But, Again, I never was the regular nigga with all due modesty. But uh, anyway, I don't know how we got on some rap shit because I was just starting. Oh, it was them, them tapes. You, know, you heard this, you heard that. That's what it was. The niggas used to always get them tapes. And my man Carlos, you know, class, classy nice. They used to always give me them tapes. So I always heard this shit before it came out. You know, like... The exclusives. And one day we were skipping, we was around our house, and then boom, boom, boom. You know, we just busting it, you know what I'm saying? They were spitting that shit, I was spitting my shit. Matter of fact, when I first started, let's get to that. We was out to school, uh, detention or something. Me and Ram was there with some old nigga. I used to always see these niggas just rapping and shit, you know? And, you know, and one day Big Ram was like, nigga, spit that shit or whatever it was. But whatever the verse was I spit made the whole cafeteria go up. You know what I'm saying? Probably my only rap. But two, I probably had two or three rhymes. <laughs> I probably had two or three rhymes, nigga. But the one I spit made the whole shit go. I was dead from now. We would throw parties at Madhouse. See, all this is before I even met Dev and Drugs and them now. When that happened, when Mad used to DJ, had the equipment. I'm just saying like this. What my name, homeboy? What my name? Yeah, anyway, that was my first single. <laughs> man, for <ball> basement. <laughs> all right, we're going to get off of that shit, man. I ain't all that. You know what, me and my nigga hooked up, boom. You know, we knew we was good, right? We knew we was it was that. Like, it wasn't no other niggas in the school or whatever else fucking with us. In our heads. Hey, so Poison Clan Dead rocks Dead. the world. You know, and, and it was Dale who came up with the name Poison Clan. Like, we always was in the Kung Fu flicks. Well, I was. You know, I was a Samurai Sunday dude. I had to get back home and went to ground, you know, to watch Samurai Sunday. But Dale was like, no, nah, the Poison Clan, you know? And then, no, 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 we poison because we dope. And the clan is our organization. You know, that my nigga word. I tell you, they one of the best who ever did. Anyway, I'm down with that. You know, I used to figure I was the toad, even though that nigga got killed. But he was that strong nigga, no weakness. But they but they found one. Anyway, I was the toad. I ain't going to get off it. You've quit the poison clan. So that money belongs to us. We want the money, not your life. <laughs> Don't kid me. The Poison Clan have never spared anyone. <laughs>